Hey guys, have another concrete restoration video for you using our TF Structural Concrete Repair Mortar. Um, this is a good video to show more of the structural capabilities of this material and how you can take a, a concrete structure like you're seeing here from a very badly deteriorated state back to a fully restored uh, functioning concrete structure. Um, as you can see, the this is pretty badly damaged. A, a big part of why this was damaged is because the, the cracking in the substrate let moisture get in down to the rebar. Carbonation of the concrete caused that rebar to start rusting. That rusting causes expansion, and that's going to break away giant concrete pieces. You can see we're, we're coming right through the slab here. So we, we use our jackhammers, remove all the damaged deteriorated concrete, cut out any rusted loose rebar, um, and then we start a pretty unique forming process. You're not starting right from scratch, so you have to use what you have and start attaching the forms to the structure so that we can start refilling in all that uh, removed concrete. Here we're using a pretty simple design. We just put a piece of plywood right up against it and use two by fours to hold it in place along with some concrete tap cons. Uh, now in this video, I'm not gonna show you too much of the actual install. Um, we don't have much footage of that, but I just wanted to show you the capabilities of what you can do with this material. Um, here we have most of the forming finished. We put uh, the forms everywhere that we took off all that loose concrete. And now we're, we're in a position where we're ready to start pouring in the TF structural. In some of the places you can see where there was some gaps or uh, yeah, some holes in the forms. We just use the TF structural to fill in those gaps. You can see it here. This will just prevent any material leaking out of the forms as we pour it. It sets really quick. Uh, and when when the, the forming process is done, we can just chip that right off and you're ready to go. So at this point, we have filled in those two big holes you saw uh, at the beginning. This was only about 20 minutes ago that we filled in uh, these holes. So it's very set, fast setting material. Uh, you can pour it in, pretty much take a coffee break, and then you can start coming back and stripping all the forms off. There we had started pouring the material in there and just packing it down in, making sure you get it all to settle nicely. Uh, no honeycombs or big air voids or whatnot. So yeah, we, we've here, we've completely filled it in. It's pretty rough. You can get that a bit smoother if you want, but we're going to be grinding this whole top pad uh, anyway to apply a skim coat afterwards. So this is only half an hour after we finished pouring our last bag of material we we went back to the very beginning of the project and started pulling out screws and tap cons and stripping those forms um, right off so you can see we got it to settle in real nice around all the existing concrete that was still in good shape and just filled in all the areas of that loose damaged deteriorated concrete that you saw so we're re-encapsulating the rebar um, getting that nice and protected so that rusting process stops occurring. Uh, we also tied in some new bar into those upper holes that you initially saw just to make sure the structure was back to its original intended design. And here now we've uh, we've run the grinders across everything and done some final final patchwork to any of the little holes or honeycombs that we might have missed during the forming process. And yeah that, that grinding just smooths it all out and blends it all into the uh, existing structure so that you have a nice, smooth, consistent restoration where it doesn't look uh, like you did a bunch of patches everywhere. And just as a reminder, you can see where we took it to. This is what we were starting with. Uh, totally damaged, destroyed. It looks like something you might have to just totally rip out and replace, uh, but you don't. And here we've put on our, our TF-80 polyaspartic coating just on the front faces of that, just to give it some protection, prevent any water ingression and any further damage or rusting of that bar. And this is uh, totally finished. We, we resurfaced all the risers and treads of the stairs in a nice broom finish. So you can see those are back to a fully functional state. This is the upper landing after we put the grinders on it and skimmed it. And this is all done using the same material, our TF Structural Concrete Repair Mortar. Uh, you can just mix it a bit wetter for the skim coats like this, and we use it a bit drier when we're doing the structural forming and pouring and rebuilding. And then that's our TF-80 polyaspartic coating there in a light gray just to, again, protect that concrete. Yeah, there's another before shot for you. So this, this is what you're starting with. And then we can take it to the state that you're seeing in the final photos and videos. And this, is all, um, this was all done in a 12-hour process. One 12-hour day, 
you're bringing the structure back to a completely restored functional state. You're not tearing it all out. That's going to be a disaster trying to come in and rip all this concrete off the building. And obviously it's doable, but that's going to give you uh, quite a large cost and time constraint. So we have uh, this material TF structural for projects like this, where you can come in, fully restore it at a fraction of the price, and it's going to last longer than, than the concrete would if you fully replaced it.